Hey guys, this is Drew with the Coochie Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. We're in Elite Rare Coins in Warren, Ohio, and we wanted to talk with Matt LaPosa, uh, a great guy that owns a shop, about uh, maybe just asking him a few questions about what makes his shop run, but also, you know, what does it take maybe to start a shop, and should you start a shop? So, let's get this video started. So there's Matt down there, he's gonna wave to you. And we're gonna talk to him in just a minute, but I wanna give you a really, you know, little bit of a brief tour of his shop. I think he's got a, just a lot of variety to offer. This is the most organized shop I've been in in like months. I mean, everything is down to the T, but if you wanna take a look, Casey, we got a, a whole selection of raw stuff here, uh, you know, from Indian head scents to old US type and barber stuff. I mean, just a really good selection. Another, you know, these are halves down here, Casey, if you want to take a look at these, and some peace dollars and Morgans, uh, even some trade dollars as well. But yeah, Matt's trying to promote anybody that wants to come in and wants to develop a set from, you know, Morgans to peace dollars, like I said, from $50 and up, maybe sometimes even selling some inexpensive Indian head scents. And, uh, you know, he just wants to help anybody that wants to be involved in the numismatic space. But, he also has some bullion you can pan really quickly onto that side. There's uh, a lot of different array of bullion if you're interested in that too, from copper to silver to gold, um, different pores, all that stuff. We don't really involve ourselves in yet, but we're trying to learn, and Matt's a great resource for that. Um, here's the, the stuff we really like a lot, which is the graded stuff. Um, you know, you have some Indian head scents here. Um, just look at these displays. I mean, Matt, Matt said he got a great price on these, and they're really, uh, I mean, they're really state of the art in my opinion. I like them a lot. But I can see, see that 20D right there? Matt picked that up from us, I think, on, yep. on Facebook. It's a nice one. But uh, yeah, definitely a great shop. And we ended up buying, like I showed you in the, in the previous video, some nice seated stuff and some raw things for you guys to look at. Um, Another great thing about Matt's shop is that he honors the World Trade Center um, and he likes to buy, he's probably the biggest dealer in the country that I've met that will pay you the strongest for it. So if you're wanting to buy something um, in your collection that wants to honor the World Trade Center, or if you ever run into one and you want to sell one, Matt LaPoza will really take care of you there. I've recommended him to many dealers and I hope a few actually have taken me up on that. One more thing I want to add is that Matt's also an authorized dealer for the Germanian Mint. And if you want to look at some of this stuff right here, Casey, just briefly, I mean, a lot of intricate designs. Some stuff is actually tougher to find than others. And so whenever you come into Matt's shop, like I said, there's just a really great variety of stuff. So we're here with Matt now. We wanted to talk to him a little bit about his shop, what makes it successful, and also some stuff that he would recommend to me because we don't have a shop, and maybe to you as well if you were thinking about a shop. Um, but if we're talking about inside the shop, Matt, what's your three ways that you you know create cash flow and create this business to be stable for you. Uh, so I've got a, a trio uh, works great for me. I have the physical shop here uh, in the community. Uh, I do trade shows all over the country uh, that I travel to and set up at, and then I also sell uh, products in an online group, uh, different groups online. Um, so it's just a good all around. Uh, you know I can't get rid of one or the other. They all feed each other. Uh, so it's just a nice mix. Yeah, so it's almost like uh, what Matt's trying to say also is that you can, whatever doesn't sell in the shop or whatever doesn't work at a show sometimes will work um, you know, on a Facebook group or might work on eBay for you. So uh, having those avenues available, knowing more people in those avenues ends up creating you to be more prosperous. Um, what, what three things do you really like to sell in the shop that, that, that create that cash flow for you, Matt? Uh, so my goal, uh, you know, having the shop here in the community, I want to provide uh, all kinds of options for the collectors. Uh, so that could be anywhere from the raw coins, uh, lower grade, lower pricing uh, for the beginner, all the way up to the uh, graded stuff, a little more expensive uh, for the serious uh, in-depth collector. And then I've got a big selection of bullion also. Uh, collector bullion, uh, just investment bullion, kind of both for those. Yeah, so it just depends kind of who comes in the shop and can you service them because, you know, what they kind of talk about sometimes is they say, you know, if you get someone in your shop and you can't offer them something that they might be looking for, 
they'll go elsewhere and that customer could be lost right. for many years. Um, and what's, well, we asked you a little bit earlier, we're off camera, but what's kind of somewhere where you would recommend someone to start with the amount of inventory and value that they have and then also how much cash do they have on hand if they wanted to start a shop? Uh, I mean, me personally, just from what I've experienced uh, myself and with other dealers that I've talked to before I got started, uh, you know, I think having, you know, about 100000 for uh, inventory is a good start, um, you know, thirty to 40 maybe even up towards uh, 50000 for a cash flow. Um, you never know what kind of collections may come in. It may bring in something that you're paying out $20 or they may bring in, you know, uh, a collection from grandpa that he collected for 50 years that you know you're going to pay out 30,000. Right. Um, so you know with that it's also having uh, good connections in the industry uh, you know I've, I know I've had uh, people I look at as a mentor to me that you know I can always go to them if it's something I can't handle so that's a big uh, big thing in the coin industry is just having good connections it's all about having relationships with other people other shop owners right. um, that type of thing. Yeah I think acquiring connections over time to help you and your business is important. How long do you think someone should, you know, if they were starting out today with, you know, they have a knowledge of coins, but they don't have that, that type of connection base, how long do you th would you say for them to try to figure out a connection base before they open up a shop? Uh, it depends on how hard they want to work. I mean, if they're out there, you know, hustling every day on the phone or at shows, uh, you know, it could be as little of a year or two, or you know, if it's they don't put as much effort in, it may take five, ten years. I mean, right. kind of depends on the person, how open they are. Um, you know, if they're a little more quiet, a little more shy, right. it could be a little more challenging to try to develop some of these relationships with people. Um, but uh, yeah, just uh, the more effort. I, I guess that would be a general uh, guideline: is the more effort you put into it, um, you know, the quicker it's going to pay off. I think. Yeah, and can you tell us a little bit about why you chose Warren as a location for, for your shop? Is, it, is there a certain kind of thought process behind that that you wanted to maybe elaborate on for someone that was thinking about not only what to have in their shop, but what area maybe they should think about for, for putting their shop? Uh, for me personally, I've lived here in this community my whole life, um, so I kind of want to serve this community. Um, there's there's a couple shops in the area, but uh, you know they're 10, 15 minutes away, um, and so they're they're really not competition uh, to me or to them, you know, vice versa. Um, but uh, I, I think that can be a, a um, something to look into. Someone opening a shop, uh, you know, obviously you don't want to open up one, you know, half a mile down the road from somebody that's been there for 30 years. It's going to be pretty hard to compete with them, but. Um, you know, I think if you look at an area, you know, you know, you want to look at the economy of the area, you know, are they going to be able to support your needs, uh, or your, uh, you know, your overhead and stuff at a shop? Um, you know, how, how far, you know, do you live in the area? Are you going to have to drive an hour to work every day? Uh, so there's a lot of factors, um, as to a location, but, uh, yeah. you know, for me, I just, you know, I've lived here in this community and it's been a good fit. Yeah, if you feel like sometimes that you're really invested into a community and you love the community, maybe like Matt does, it's you know sometimes it's good to just say that I'm going to stay here and work on servicing the collectors that maybe you re you were raised around and uh, grew up with. And well, that's another big thing in the in the coin industry. I'd say one of the biggest things as far as collectors coming in here to sell is do they trust me? And so you know I've had people that come in here. I mean they remember. You know, me from when I was a little child, you know, maybe they were my teacher, or, you know, yeah. neighbor or whatever. And so that, that goes a long way uh, in, a, in a local community is if people already know you, uh, know your family, then they're a little more apt to trust you right off the bat right. uh, versus if you go to a new community that, you know, you've only been there a couple months, they don't know you from, from anybody, it's going to be a little harder for them to trust you. Yeah. Um, and, and that's that's the basis of my shop is, is trust. I'm up front with everybody. Um, you know, you take care of me, I take care of you. That's how it works. Yeah. Well, thank you, Matt, for talking with us about, you know, uh, some of the things that you were thinking about with your shop and then also just giving some insight because we all want that, you know, that end goal of having a, a great shop and then being in the community that we like. And so uh, we just thank you for your time. And if you guys want to check out Matt, sure. what he has available, um, you can visit his shop in Warren, Ohio. I'll link the address down below. I'll also give you his phone number and his Facebook page so you can reach him on 
all platforms. And maybe I can ask him about a show after this that he might be at next for you guys to maybe see him in person, shake his hand. But thank you so much, Matt, for you got it. Appreciate it. Yeah. Anytime. Yeah, so here's a little bit of a variety of what we bought at Matt's shop just to wrap everything up. I mean, just really nice type coins. And he's always got a nice mix, um, like I said. So make sure to check him out and spend some money with him.